I'm going to double click and call this cross because I want to name my layers. I'm going to double click and call this lady and double click and call this wing. There's also one more image that I wanted to bring in from here. So to bring the whole image in, I can just hit Command A or Control A to copy it, Control C or Command C, and bring it to this document, Control C or Control V. What I want to do with this is I want to remove this background here and essentially have these crosses sitting behind in the background. So I'm just going to move them up to this level. I'm going to turn the eye off. I'm going to use my quick selection only because I don't need it to be as precise. Okay, I'm going to remove some of this. And as you can tell, it is definitely not as precise as using the pen tool. Okay, so here I have my selection. What I want to do is my background layer is locked. If you double click it, you can unlock it. I can drag this layer up. Right now, I have the background selected. What I want to do is I want to inverse my selection so I just have the house selected. If I go up to the top, select, inverse. Now the house and the ground is selected. If I go to my third object over here, where it is a rectangle and a circular, I can click on this and it adds a layer mask. So anything in this black here has been removed. Anything in the white is still available. If I really wanted to, I could paint some of these details back in. If I use my paintbrush, and I'm just gonna pick a really large brush size for now. Anything you paint in black goes away. Anything you paint in white, you can see comes back. Okay, so the masks are not permanent. They're a great tool to use. I'm just gonna go up to my history here and go back to that point where I'd wanna go. From here, I want to click on my layer one, which is the cross layer. And I'm going to use the move tool and move this down. So here I have my crosses, I have the trees. I'm merging two different images to create one. Now the problem I have is the color balance is off, the saturation is off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the hue and saturation. I'm going to click on this little square so that it's only affecting the layer below. And I'm going to play around with some of my values. I'm definitely going to desaturate it. I want it to be a little bit darker than the background. And then I'm going to put an adjustment layer for both of those. I think I'll do another hue and saturation. And I'm going to darken up the whole image there. Okay, so it's starting to get a little bit scarier. So now I have this woman. She came in quite large, so I need to scale her. Control T or Command T will allow me to scale her. It bring up my transform box. To make sure that I scale her in proper proportion, I have to hold Shift on my keyboard and drag in from any of the four corners. You can also move her around by just clicking from the inside. And when you're happy, hit enter. If you want to move her around the canvas, you can just be on the move tool. Your quick key for the move tool is V on your keyboard. And I'm happy with this, so I will just keep her here for now. What I could do is I can now click on my cross. And I'm going to show you how to play around with some of your different levels here. Okay, so I'm just going through and picking and seeing if any of them that I like. So overlay, what it's doing is it's overlaying from this image to the images below. 
It is adding some transparency into them. And let's say that I want to work with uh, exclusion, but I'm going to change the opacity down a bit. And it's just going to kind of blur into the background here. Now what I want to do is I have an angel wing here. I'm going to move the layer below the lady layer. I am going to move the wing over to the side. And now I want to adjust to this lady. She's a little bit too bright. Her contrast is up for this photo. So I'm going to now click on this little square. So I'm only adjusting her and I'm going to bring down the saturation. I'm also going to darken her up. Now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of a glow around her. I'm going to right click over in the blue part and hit my blending options. If I click and drag this over, I can see what happens with my blending options. So I want to do a drop shadow. I'm going to change the angle of the drop shadow. I am going to change the distance. I'm going to have a drastic distance and a spread. And I can change up the opacity. And here you will see that I've added this kind of blurry black glow around her. If I want to copy the same thing to the wing, I can just right click and I can duplicate my layer style. Copy layer style. Right click paste layer style. So it has now happened to the wing as well. And if I go back and I think I really don't like the way the cross is looking, I can go back and I can adjust it at this point. I can bump it up back to the opacity at 100%. I can play around with it. I can move it over to the side. I can decide, hey, I don't even like that. That's not working with this project. And I can add other elements into it. So if you wanted to make this project a little bit more scary, you can add the blood, the cat eyes, the vampire teeth, and all the other elements that you need to create your scary photo. And there you go. Enjoy.